Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Smita. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about some of the top machine learning certifications that you guys can get in 2021. So this video is really catered towards people who are in the process of applying for machine learning and data science roles, or they are planning on applying to them. Because, you know, besides obviously having some sort of degree in computer science, I think getting this sort of machine learning certification is the next best thing that you guys can do for your resume. So I'm really going to be focusing on some of the really top and well-known machine learning courses that give certificates, which a lot of tech companies and hiring managers at tech companies actually look out for. So, because these are actually going to really stand out and make your resume stand out. Also, I'm going to be talking about the duration that it takes, the time, amount of time that it takes to get these certifications. And also I'm going to be talking about the cost as well. So let's get into it. The very first certification that I want to talk about is actually the Google TensorFlow Developer Certificate. So if you guys don't know, TensorFlow is actually a machine learning and deep learning framework, which was released by Google. But this Google, um, but this TensorFlow Developer Certificate was actually released by Google only about a year ago. So it's actually pretty brand new. But despite how new it is, it's actually really uh, popular with a lot of developers already. And I have already seen a ton of job descriptions actually even mentioning and asking for this type of TensorFlow Developer Certificate from Google. So it's definitely great to have. And if you guys are thinking of if you guys are really confused on which one to actually pick, I would actually highly recommend this one. So what you guys do is you have to write an exam for this and the cost of this exam is a hundred US dollars. So it's definitely not that expensive. However, to prepare for this exam, they do give you a bunch of courses that you can take. You don't have to particularly stick to these courses, but they do recommend these. So they are some of uh, TensorFlow related courses on Coursera, which you guys can take. And there's obviously other ones on other websites as well. Now to actually complete the syllabus required for this exam, it takes about two to three months. So the entire duration of getting this certification would take you about two to three months, depending on the speed of which you learn. The great thing with this uh, certification is that you can take it from anywhere. You can sit for the exam and you'll receive your certification within 24 hours. And then you're able to use it on LinkedIn, GitHub, Twitter, and your resume and all of that. I would say the only disadvantage with this TensorFlow developer certificate is that it's very much catered towards the TensorFlow framework. So if the roles that you're applying to and the companies that you're applying to, they don't actually make use of the TensorFlow framework, well, this certificate might not actually be the best use for you. However, the TensorFlow framework is really popular and a lot of tech companies which deal with machine learning do use it. So it's definitely useful. The next certification that I want to talk about is actually by SAS. Now SAS is actually a company which builds a lot of different type of softwares, which is catered towards a lot of data, data analytics and data science as well. But they've also specialized in machine learning. So they have a platform uh, software called SAS Via, which specializes in data analytics and machine learning. So what you guys can do is actually get a certification for using this software. It's called the SAS Certified Specialist Machine Learning Using SAS. Now, since SAS is already a really, really popular throughout the world and through, uh, throughout a lot of tech companies, I think this has a huge advantage, especially if you are very serious about working in the machine learning field. Now, this certificate is very specific to the SAS software called VIA, but I have noticed that a lot of companies do use it. So it's mostly a lot of companies, for example, a lot of banking companies and a lot of consulting companies who are getting into machine learning who are actually using this type of software. I feel like a lot of tech companies uh, will probably be building their own things, building their own type of platforms. So maybe you might not see a lot of tech companies actually using this, but there is definitely a huge scope for using this SAS via and 
this is a great certificate for you guys to have now to get this certification you guys have to take an exam uh, the exam costs about 180 us dollars it's 100 minutes to complete it's mostly multiple choice and short answer questions now that being said how do you prepare for this exam well uh, there is actually a bunch of courses online there's also one on coursera which specializes particularly like machine learning using sas via so you can de definitely check that course out i think it takes about a month to complete where you actually learn how to use the sas via course uh, sas via platform now that being said though you still have to learn some machine learning basics before you take this machine learning uh, using SAS via course and then you'll be ready to actually take this exam and then go on to get the certification. The next certification that I want to talk about is actually offered by the University of Berkeley on edX. So edX is actually a pretty famous online educational platform and it's really well known and University of Berkeley is also a really well known university around the world. Now, this program actually offers uh, both a foundations of data science certificate and also a more in-depth advanced level certificate. So for the foundations of data science professional certificate, you actually don't need to have any requirements. You don't need to have any programming background or computer science or statistics background. So it's great for beginners. Now, this certificate actually the courses for this certificate actually last for about four months and it costs around $300, which is definitely a pretty good deal. The last certification that I want to talk about is actually offered by Cornell University. So Cornell University has actually launched this eCornell uh, platform where they have a lot of online learning courses and online based certificate programs. So the machine learning, uh, Cornell certificate program is a really famous one that they have launched and it the entire program cost about $3,600. Now that is a pretty big price tag, but you have to keep in mind that obviously you are getting the Cornell name on your certificate and also it goes pretty in depth. It's not a, it's not really a basic certification like the other ones that I might have mentioned, but this one really goes in depth and it also covers a lot of machine learning advanced topics as well as deep learning as well. Besides these four certifications that I've mentioned, which, which are really gonna help you stand out as they are either from top tech companies like Google with the TensorFlow Developer Certificate or from really well-known uh, universities, you can also take courses off of Coursera, or Udacity because those are also well known. But I particularly, I actually find that these certifications that I've mentioned will definitely make your resume stand out when you're applying for those machine learning engineering roles. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful in letting you guys know some of the best certificates for machine learning which are out there. And let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section below and let me know if you guys are gonna plan on taking one of these or if you already have.